She is the owner and actress of Ministry A, Ministry, aka A, Theatrics, that use theatrical arts to uplift and inspire. Alicia has created various projects such as I Am My Hair, Park Therapy, I Salute You Good Men, The Journey to Purim, Incarcerated Hero, and more. Today, she will perform a poem by none other than our icon, Miss Louise Bennett, and then she will perform one of her own project called I, ha I Am My Hair. Let's welcome actress Alicia Thompson! Don't give them no show. Don't give them no show. Let's I want you guys to show your appreciation. She's been doing this for many years. Yes. When she got to New York, people stand up. Yes. All of us sit down and stand up. All of us stand up, stand up. Don't stop. You understand? Yes. Since she can't come to Bridgeport now, and we call her on stage, and we get a little bit of response. Give her some hope, you understand? Tom, love. Hands in the air. If you want to see the, the point, the hands in the air. Call her on stage for me one more time. All right. Coming to the stage one more time to perform. Uh, Miss Louise Bennett, poem on one of our own, none other than actress Miss Alicia Thompson. Yeah. That's better. Miss Clever. That's better. Thank you, family. Thank you, family. How are everybody doing today? You enjoying the independence celebration? Yes. Yeah. We're free, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's have fun. I'm sure you guys know what this outfit is all about, the bandana outfit. Yes, ma. Yes, 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 yes. I know all the adults, but I know we have children that are here. This is our national outfit. And Miss Louise Bennett, when she had like ring thing and stuff like that, this is what she would wear. Okay? So I'm going to do... Before I start though, I just want to make sure that I have everyone's undivided attention. Miss Louise no longer here with us. But her spirit is here with us today. So if I can get the respect of having, you know, just a sidebar conversation, just kind of chill them out for a bit. Let me do my performance and then you can go back to what you were talking about, all right? Okay. So this one is called New Scholar by Louise Bennett. Good morning, teacher. How is you? My name is Sarah Poole, and this is my little boy Michael. I'm mean, just suffering in my school. I'm born one rainy day. Ma, it was coming on tonight. Ugly baby grow pretty for true. For this one was a sight. I'm born the week when Rufus Jackson she did start for me. It's that same month who we picked then. Oh, we forgot the year. We call him Mike, Mikey, Jake, Jakey, Jacob, Jack. But him right name is Michael, Jacob, Alexander Black. Not treat him rough, your teacher. For him is a sickly child. As you touch him hard, so he make nice. Some people say him quiet. Take time with him, your teacher. If him rude and start for real, this beat another boy. And he will frighten and behave. For enough time with him rude a yard. <laughs> and him won't hear me long talk. I just beat the bed post hard, ma. You won't be here, Jack Bob. Well, now that you know him little ways, and not having no fear that anything will melt him, I left him in your kids. Aye, aye, aye. Thank you. Thank you for the love. Now, I'm just going to be doing a very quick excerpt from a one-woman show that I created a couple of years ago and I've been touring with it. 
Some of you may know, know in the audience might have seen it before, some have never seen it before. So today I'm just gonna give you a quick snippet of a one woman show that I created. It's six different characters and I play all six different characters. And this is just, just a little sneak peek of one of the characters, okay? All right, DJ, you know what to do. And she didn't know Someone wear locks doesn't mean they smoke ganja, heal Selassie. Daddy, for years, you've been walking around with a big secret. And I found out that you, my father, a retired policeman, was a part of the 1963 Coral Gardens Bad Friday. It was a bad Friday for Rasta. But we we'll talk about that the next time. I know how you feel about anything to do with Rasta. But I'm writing to tell you my big secret. I've been locked in love for two years with a warm spirited Rasta man who treats me like a queen. And he has about six acres of land waiting for just the two of us. I hope this letter finds you well, Daddy. And that you won't have a heart attack when you open it. And you see the picture of my big engagement ring and the ultrasound showing that I am 12 weeks pregnant for a Rasta man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Give her a big round of applause, please. Thank you, my dear. Beautiful. Let me remind you that about 8 o'clock p.m. sharp, we're going to have an international recording artist to bless the stage right here. Something tells me something magical is going to happen on this stage tonight, this evening. All right? The sun is going down. I want you to grab your space in the